we have integral limit from 1 to infinity log x upon x square dx. This infinity I will convert into this way is equals to limit of limit of here 1 to I will say some constant say p where p tends to infinity and then this log of x 1 by x square is ms x raised to minus 2 into px. Now let us apply integration by parts here or you can say tabular methods or di methods you can apply as you want. So I will apply integration by parts. So considering log x is a first function and then this is second function. So is equals to limit of p tends to infinity and then this log x as it is into integral of this is x raised to minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 upon minus 1 and then limit is 1 to p and that minus integral differentiation of first function is 1 by x integration is here 1 upon x then minus minus plus dx okay and this is 1 by x square so this is an as limit limit of p tends to infinity log of x upon x and then limit is from 1 to p instead of x we have to substitute okay plus and this is ms x raised to minus 2 dx limit is from 1 to p 1 to p over here so is equals to limit of p tends to infinity let's substitute upper limit minus lower limit okay when i when i substitute upper limit here i'll get log of p upon p log of p upon p minus here i'll get log 1 upon 1 log 1 is 0 so i don't have to write anything over here you can set 0 and then plus x integral of x raised to minus 2 is minus 1 by x and here limit will be 1 to p so is equals to limit of p tends to infinity here log of p upon p minus upper limit minus lower limit upper limit is 1 by p minus minus plus 1 so let's first see what is nature of this here we have log x or you can say log p okay and then here y equals to x or you can say it's straight over here okay straight line here this is x or you can say p okay when p tends to infinity these dominates means these dominates okay this line dominates this log okay therefore this value therefore this value become zero Similarly, over here also, denominator dominates, therefore, this become also 0. So, we have limit of p tends infinity 1, therefore, this value is become 1. Okay. So, I think I have mixed this minus. Okay. So, this minus should come over here and this minus should come over here. This minus should come over here. Anyway, this value is become 0 okay. and this also becomes 0. Only we have 1. Okay. So if you like this video, please like and share. Thank you for your support.